Now I'm filming, so you need to behave yourself. Oh Christ. You're gonna eat this, aren't you? If I put it here, can I trust you? I don't think so. No drinky the tea. Random small furry creature. Check. Hello everyone. I'm doing June favourites. It's five o'clock in the morning. Jet lag is a bunch of fun. Yes. It's 5.26, can you see that? I've been up all night, literally all night. Didn't even feel like it was night time. Going, thinking, going. I thought, well, I might as well be productive. Might as well get up, might as well do a video for you. So I just wanna show you a few things that I was using throughout June um, that I relied on. If you've been following my YouTube, you'll know that I've been in America. No, no. No, no, not shoe, no shoelaces. No, they're brand new. Yeah, I've been in America and it's been really, really hot over there. And I've basically just worn sunscreen and kept it really simple every day. But there's been a few bits that I bought when I was out there or that I took out there or that I bought in duty free that have been absolutely amazing. And I just feel like they are worth mentioning. Okay, so... We have this gorgeous little bag that I managed to, that was disgusting, that I managed to grab when I was over there. It's by Tommy Hilfiger and I thought it was really, really cute and it's sick. No, brand new, brand new. Why are you going for all the new stuff? Anyway, Tommy Hilfiger, Hilfiger, Hillslinger, Hill, yeah, you know who I'm talking about. This was nice and thick. It was in a shop that I can only compare to TK Maxx over here. Um, I don't know, I can't even remember what it's called. But, uh, began with a B. Not Bloomingdale's, it was like Barrington's. I know I'm saying that completely wrong. Burlington's? Burlington's. Anyway, I think it was $10 for a Tommy Hilfiger piece of equipment. I'm so tired. Just stick with me. Good boy. It's finally settled down. Anyway, one of the first products I bought, uh, which was in duty free Heathrow end, so London end, UK end, was a BB cream and I headed straight, I knew exactly what I wanted, I headed straight for Clinique and um, I've heard that they do an anti-blemish BB cream, which solved a lot of my problems, it had an SPF in it, that was great, um, spoke to the lady about it, she was really helpful and I came away. I didn't check it. Always check what you buy before you pay for it. Always check you've got the right colour for your skin. Always check that you've got what you wanted in the first place. But I came away with Age Defence BB Cream. Now, at the time I was like, oh no, because I'd already arrived in LA and I was like, how am I going to exchange it? I was thinking about going to like the counters or something to exchange it, but I thought, no, nope, I'm going to give it a go just one of those things in life and actually it's amazing. I'll read the back because I was desperately trying to see something that could apply to me at the time but it says perfecting cream. Conceals helps prevent premature signs of aging with UVA, UVB protection. That's what I wanted anyway but I didn't think I needed anti-aging but maybe I don't know, do you start that thing at 25? Do you start that kind of thing? I don't know when the appropriate age is to start anti-aging products anyway. It also says optics instantly help reduce the appearance of lines and wrinkles. Special ingredients help defend against environmental aggressors and soothe skin. Long wearing oil control formula, which is what I was going for with the anti-blemish anyway. It works beautifully under foundation or alone. Skin feels soft, smooth, looks brighter, perfected. Apply daily all over face, see enclosure. And I thought that doesn't sound too bad. That ticks a lot of boxes of the things I was looking for anyway so I went with it and I have not been disappointed literally I have used it every day for at least three weeks of June since I've been out there have not been disappointed love this stuff so much I think the coverage is actually really good for a BB cream foundation very good very very good we like this one quickly moving on the second thing that I bought in duty free that has been a savior is the Kiehl's midnight recovery concentrate and it looks like this it is so good it has literally i thought putting oil on my oily skin would not be of any benefit but it has been it changes the nature of your skin it it, it just makes it look better you wake up looking like you've had a facial it's brilliant um 
back what else we've got in here oh i have a bit of a, a sob story to tell i did buy this fragrance i was going to put it in my favorites video because i loved it so much this is a fragrance from hollister and i threw the packaging away but it's one of the eau uh, uh, de parfum malaya malaya or something like that i don't know but it was on offer and it had this little thing on it you know one of those beauty things that I've always wanted and I bought it at an outlet and I put it in the holdall bag for um traveling back which was a massive error because the pressure down there just basically sucked all of the perfume out into my bag and I had no perfume left so now I have this beautiful bottle but no perfume it does smell really nice though if you come across it any Hollister perfume actually smells nice I like all of their fragrances things that I bought over there that I rate this is a wet and wild blusher and it's pearlescent pink 831e it's just really simple it came with a little brush here it looks like this part of their color icon range really really neat color really nice just gave me that bit of color when I was going out in the evening because I just wore a bronzer during the day and I showed that bronzer in my vlog which I will link down below I just don't like the packaging it's pretty basic but then it was pretty cheap so I kind of get that also I bought a brush by elf never heard of elf before whether I've just missed it or not I don't know but it had a slant and it was very good for getting in the contours and doing my cheeks while I was out there so I really really enjoyed this I will be keeping this I thought I could use this whilst I was at home or for traveling anyway but it was just really really useful I could have applied powder with it bronzer with it blush with it He's now looking at this. <laughs> you know what, doing videos with pets is, is never a dull moment. Okay, we're not gonna be friends for much longer. Can you stop eating everything? Thank you, that's really nice of you. 5 a.m. dog antics. I missed this one. He's got bigger since you last saw him. He's more hairy and he's a big dog. Would a big dog. Anyway, I'm sorry about the distraction in this video. I just wanted to get it done. June has definitely gone. We are now in July and like if I didn't do it now then I would have never done it. So if you like this video give it a thumbs up. I will be doing a Sephora haul. I have a big old bag in the background which you probably can't see but I'm dying to use the products and I wanted to haul them before I actually use them. So keep tuned for that and I will see you soon. Bye!